if you lease it, et cetera. But the finance, at the end of the day, you're going to be paying $20,000 more, however you cut it, at least. And actually, if you finance it, you're going to pay it more because you're going to be paying interest. All right? So at the end of the day, again, you're going to take e either 80 at $5 a gallon, it's 80,000 miles to break even. And then, by the way, have you figured in the 10-year lifespan of a battery that you have to change? So if you have 100... Yes, we have. I mean, the, the okay. estimates that are showing that this is reaching parity and pointing toward a savings, depending on the model, do account for things like that. But... But you would agree that the higher the, ga the price of gas, then the, the faster you reach that parity. Of course, the more pain we are all experiencing from the high price, price of gas, the more benefit there is for those who can access electric vehicles. That's why we're hoping you and your colleagues might reconsider opposing the reduction of EV upfront prices with tax credits. So, so you're, you're saying the more pain we have, the more benefit we're going to get. Of course. No. I think that's what I heard you say. You said the more pain that we <laughs> no, have. That's, that's what you heard yeah, me say. That's what I heard you say. I know you the want me to say it have. so bad, but, but okay. uh, honestly, sir, what we're saying is that we could have no pain at all by making EVs cheaper for everybody, and we'd love to have your support on that. Are uh, EVs cheaper by subsidizing them? Or yes, so that's part of it. Yeah, but that makes, doesn't make it cheaper. I mean, well, actually, it does. So you have a, you have a market making at the end. We're right, all right, paying but it, taxes, okay. but it makes it cheaper because that market making investment gets you past the tipping point. Current estimates actually are that the U.S. as we cross that five percent new sales level is starting.